Now, welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. We got a special guest on the show today, but first, I'm gonna show you what a yellow submarine will do right here. Check this out. There's a yellow sub right there. <laughs> Wait and watch him take off now. This fish, these Jack Corral, we've done shows on before. And I tell you what, watch him like this. He's lighting it up. Watch him, he's gonna go out to the deep end now. Lighting it up. That's giving that fin to test out. <laughs> Do they do a run? Absolutely. Y'all recognize that voice? It's a voice from your past. Y'all recognize that voice? It's a voice Come from on up past. here. V and salt water is like pouring perfume on a pig. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here with my man. <laughs> you couldn't have done anything any better. We got the legend with us today, Bill Dance. And Bill, I'm about to run out of line. You want me to bump you out there? I, well, I think we need to head that way. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some addictive fishing. Bill Dance, amazing. We'll be right back. Let's go then. Come on. Yes, sir, that's a grown one. Well, bring him to me, and I shall net him. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. How, how far out is he? You get any line back? A little bit. Well, welcome back. We're still fighting a jack. <laughs> this is one of those, what Jim Ross used to like to call an hour jack, and that's who we're gonna tell you to come with here at the end of the show, so y'all pay attention, y'all can come do this. We got the famous Bill Dance driving Blair's boat. While well, he's on, fighting a 30 to 35 pound jack. Hey, I told you something. Last year, I learned to smell salt, and this year, I'm working on water. <laughs> I got his W-A, and there's three more letters there somewhere. A Mogan Jack. They pronounce that any different in Tennessee? No, they'd say a Mogan, a Mogan Jack. They don't know what a Jack is in Tennessee unless they saltwater fish. <laughs> We've got a, a sauger, which is first cousin to a walleye, mm -hmm. and a lot of people uh, refer to them as Jacks and Jack Salmon. Now those are the launch pads for NASA right out in here. Yes sir, they are, and that's, uh, that's a heck of a backdrop, isn't it? Yes sir. No condominiums for miles on this beach, and it's great to look at. Why do they have so much power? They're, they're just unbelievable strength. The will to live is just unbelievable. Yeah, it has to be the fork tail that they have, because it's, it's shaped kind of like a, if you've seen those sails on a sailboat that's solid, it'll cut the water and get in that current and absolutely just create as much drag as that little body of theirs can do. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, when you set the hook on him, he moved out like a late freight. <laughs> he got I'll, his hat, buddy. He I, always, I always said these have more power and have just a faster run and probably about 200 yards more of a run than a bonefish. You know what, a lot of fish, if they're not edible, we have misconceptions. People think, well, you know, they're not good to eat, they're not fun to catch. Well, the fun is in the catching, yeah. no matter what it is, the fight, you know, the. The, the enjoyment of seeing the fish strike and the fight in the pool like what you're going through now, that's what it's all about. It's that adrenaline rush. Ooh, look at that. You know, Bill, back when I was Ooh, a kid watching night. watching TV, watching you and, oh, who else was I watching? Virgil Ward, sitting back watching you guys catch those fish. I was like, man, I want to go do that. And he ate that big giant DOA shrimp. That's one of the first times I've ever thrown that shrimp at these, at these jacks. Come on. Yes, sir, that's a grown one. Well, bring him to me, and I shall net him. Fish in the net. He's caught. Fish on, brother. How about that, Swear huh? Jack. That. I think that's where we got the term Mogan from right there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that is a serious Jack Cravel. Woo! Let him out. Check this fish out. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. I told him everything he knows. <laughs> you, think, you think that's where the term mugging would come in right Absolutely. there? Absolutely. Uh, Look at this jack. Man. That is a Jack Curvell. How much do you think he weighs? That one will go about 34 pounds, maybe. Woo! He's heavy. <laughs> oh, way to go, buddy. Way to go. Now, when we release these things, you just throw them in and let that shot of water go right in their mouth, uh -huh. along with a little bit of air, and they take off. And that's that big force that's tail you're talking about. Unbelievable. Woo! Here we go. 
See you, buddy. See you, bud. And off he swims. There he goes. <sighs> Toodaloo, boo boo. <laughs> good job, buddy. Oh, good job. Awesome. You did good. Bill Dance on my boat, <laughs> on my TV show. How about that? Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing and a beautiful day from Florida Space Coast right here. We'll nice right job. Nice job. Thank you very much, sir. Let's go then. There he got it. Oh, there he got it. Oh, he nailed that one. <laughs> <laughs>2,000 redfish right in front of you, Bill. Oh, here he comes. Boom! A big redfish! <laughs> they go all the way plow it, don't they? All right, right. Come on. Come on, twitch it. Twitch it. Go ahead. Bounce it, bounce it, bounce it, bounce it. Oh, they're trying for it. Look, you got 15 of them on it. Keep pulling. Don't stop it. Don't stop it. There you go. Oh, there you got it. Nope. God, I won't eat it. <laughs> Get it. Good any fish. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> okay, coming. Where'd he go? Right here, straight straight out in front of right where I'm pointing. As far as you can. Good shot. Good shot. Twitch it, twitch it, it, twitch it, twitch it, twitch it. He's behind it, twitch it, twitch it. Boom! You ain't getting there he got it. Oh, there he got it. Oh, he nailed that, that one. Woo! <laughs> 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 Did you see that? That is awesome. He's trying to stay with that school, isn't he? Yeah, he's trying to. He'll stay with that school. He's school. not going to, because I'm going to put some bowl on his panty right now. Wow, look, look at, all, at all those red fish. Look at the glow in the water. If that's not absolutely incredible, Bill, I don't know what is. <laughs> Folks, y'all got to come down here and do this. I'm telling you, this is wow. Well, there goes my drag. Look. That's it. Whoa. Think, you sure that ain't a jack for that one? Oh, please don't say that. <laughs> no, that's a red. I saw him. I saw about six of them. All of them trying to get it. There was a bunch of them. We're going to play with these reds a while, then we're going to play with the tarpon. Hey, I want to tell y'all something. Years ago, I saw a Blair Wiggins show catching tarpon under some bridge. I don't remember what it was on his, on his outdoor show. That was Channel 2, uh, Channel Two down in Almorado with Martin Nichols. Well, when I saw that show, that's probably the turning point that inspired me to do a saltwater series. <laughs> I'm serious as I can be. You I gotta said, be kidding me on that. I'm serious as I can be. And you know, I talked to you right after that. I saw you at the ICAST show, mm -hmm. and that's been four years, four or five years ago. And you sent me some tapes, some DVD tapes. Uh -huh. And uh, I watched every one of them, and I watched them again and again. And every time I watched them, I'd get so excited <laughs> watching. I said, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'd like to do that, but you know, like I said, I didn't know anything about saltwater fishing, and I still don't, but I'm learning from people like you. Well, it, it is exciting, and what we like to say, it's addictive. That's right, it, it is, is addictive. addictive. <laughs> it is addictive. Because a lot of times, Bill, those cobia will hang right in the middle of these schools. You take that drag. And he, that fish will stay right in that school. As you can see, I'm just going along with them. What do we got here? Those are giant jacks. Bill, what do you think about all these red fish? Unbelievable. Words can't even describe it. I'm telling you, you are blessed, Blair Wiggins. You I are blessed. I just think the area is. I'm just a lucky person who gets to come out here and experience it. <laughs> get to float on it. Get to float on it, run my mouth, and catch fish, and have a ball. Wow. Back up just a little bit off this deck. 
I can do something with this thing. There you go. Oh, I might. Yep. I'm okay. Hey, Bill, you want to see what two of them look like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at this one. Wow. That's a good red there, That really. is a nice red fish. We'll go ahead and land him. Now, I'll tell you what. I wonder how many people in the world would love to do what I'm fixing to do right now. Yeah. Land one of your fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Coming around. Gosh, the color on that fish. Look well, at all the spots on him, too. I'll catch him down. Ow, 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 ow. Come here, dude. Wow, are these things fat. All right, I'm gonna lay him right up on the deck. Okay. Oh, ooh, 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 what a ooh, beautiful redfish. You can tell he ate it, didn't you? Look at that. That hey. would be considered a mugging redfish. <laughs> That was <laughs> good a job, good Bill. Deal. Let's that was see. Him. Awesome. Well, let's see if we can get that hook out of there. You got there it, buddy. That's good. That badonka donk did it good, Bill. Show everybody your your not, Space Coast redfish I have right not there. Got him. I have not got him. Grab his tail. Got you got him that time? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, look at the spots on that one. Woo! Awesome. Right here from the Space Coast. <laughs> and can you believe Bill dance on my boat? <laughs> I'm turn blue. Go ahead and give him a toss in. And off he goes. You know, Bill, most of the time I like to take and you know, revive them really good, but right now the water temperature is about 76 to 72 to 76 degrees here. And if you give them that shot, it'll jolt them real good. And they'll go right on down. They'll go right on down and live to fight another day. I like these clean towels you keep. Yeah, they are nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're really nice. <laughs> huh? Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back from the Space Coast. And when you come back, bring us a clean towel. <laughs> See you in a minute. <laughs> How about that? Oh, what can I say? That man, he, I'm telling you what, he just amazes me. I'm telling you, it's alive out here. You've seen cobia, redfish, tarpon, jacks, and bait everywhere. Go to the right. See that big red spot right here to the right? That huge red spot? Uh-huh. You want them way out. How about that? Oh, <laughs> what can I say? That man, he, I'm telling you what, he just amazes me. As long as they can stay close to that school, they They do everything they can to stay in Boy, they just. But you can really start to see that school now. If you don't see it out there, it's that. I see it. I see that it. red patch out there. I'll say it once before. Say it again. There's 2,000 fish there at least. At least. I mean, as far to the right, as far to the left as I can see, I see red. Bill, I tell you what, I've been doing, I told you earlier, I've been doing that redfish tour the uh -huh. past six, seven years now, and I've heard about this school out here, but believe it or not, this is the, I had, I was on them once before with my mom just a few days ago when she caught her cobia. And uh, this is like the, the second time Ooh. I've ever been on this school of fish. What a pretty fish. What gives them that sheen, this clear water? They're in such clean water now, and they're eating like crazy. They're on grunts, they're on crabs, big giant Atlantic shrimp that are in here, the big white shrimp. Uh -huh. It's kind of why I threw this big shrimp imitation here. But uh, he's barely hooked. He's barely, barely hooked. hooked. That's why I like them single hooks. Ooh, look at that. But, so it's all, it's high protein forage that's in here for them. Yeah, just high protein, and it's all the iodine that's in the shellfish that look, I believe no, that gives look, them that color. Look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many on that side? Look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. What puts those spots on them like that? When a redfish is a little finger-sized fish, they have one spot usually on both sides of the tail, and, and just genetics, them mixing, mixing their gene pool back and forth together, that spot has moved around in the genetic pool so much that, uh, that they get the multiple spots like that. And what the original spot's for, I'm gonna send this guy off, there he goes. What, that, what the original spot is on the tail for is it looks like an eye to predator fish. I hit the tail instead of the head. Yeah, yeah, and I've caught so many redfish in the Indian River and the redfish out here that had just a mangled tail and you can tell that that's where the predator fish are, are attacking it because that's, that's where they usually go and bite a, bite a bait fish versus right on the head to swallow it head first. 
And that's another reason why you have those badonkadonks that have such a great big eye on them that, that kind of imitates and it also gives the, uh, gives the predator fish a target to hit. Uh -huh. So, I mean, it's uh Well, some of them don't have hardly any black dots on them. No, I've, I've caught them before that didn't have, a, didn't have a single black dot. That's just bad genetics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for a silver king. You ready, Susan? Let's go catch let's, you let's a big Let's see if we can do that. Let's go Good job, it. Mr. Dance. Thank you, buddy. That's awesome. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm gonna show you what Bill and I were out there throwing today. And can you believe Bill Dance on my boat? Been watching him my whole life, and here he is right on my boat. Back to what we're throwing. Not this little guy, I was throwing the big five and a half inch shrimp by DOA. What shrimp do you always grab out of the live well when you're using live shrimp? Usually the biggest one, so. I was throwing this guy today, and it was definitely getting the job done. The jacks come out of their skin to eat it. The redfish eat it. it. About anything that eats a shrimp's gonna eat this guy right here. Throw it up current, let it drift down, just make it get noticed, and they'll come out of their skins to eat this big guy. 50 pound test cigar fluorocarbon, and this is the premium cigar fluorocarbon. Had 30 pound excess fins on, and excess fins is extra smooth. And this by far is the smoothest braid I've ever thrown in my life. Great, great line. Uh, eight foot signature series, right, McGill? 4,000 size reel. And uh, Bill was throwing a top water plug called a badonka donk. Makes a lot of noise on top of the water. A top dog will work great. Anything out there that just bounces across the top of the water and looks like a fish trying to get away. There's your bait check for today. Remember, every season starts right here at Dick's. Get out and catch you a fish. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. Bill, I tell you what, with these, with this cloud cover coming in, I think, oh, I don't know, they're still rolling a little bit. Why don't you get that bass rod and come up here and see what you can do with a bass rod? A bass that, rod? That will impress me a whole lot if you, if you can pop one of them and get it in. Toss it right out here in front of the boat about, well, as far as you can, that way you cover the whole school. All right, where you want it? Straight out here. Let her go, let her go, let her go. Walk it on back. Boom, boom. He got it. You got one. <laughs> Throw out there and get one, double up. Okay, I'll go ahead and hook one. There's only a thousand out here. <laughs> and I got one. Just give me all I want. Uh, so, Bill, what do you think of my backyard here? I love it. I like playing in your backyard, I can tell you that. It ain't a bad yard to grow up take in either, drink. I tell you. What? It, it wasn't a bad backyard to grow up in. No, sir. I believe this is a full, a full groaning. Yeah. Woo! Get him way down there. Come on, go. Well, that bass rod got him a channel bass, didn't it? <laughs> it did. He's a big old tired fish. Look at him come up on top of the water. Right <laughs> He's a floundering. He's a floundering, ain't he? Listen to that drum. Oh man, what a pretty fish. What a beautiful fish. What a pretty, pretty fish. Need the pliers? Uh, yes, sir, I will. The badonka donk done it. The badonka donk hooks not even bent. Wow. These redfish are such pigs. Two dots on that one. Are such pigs. Is that a beautiful, golden? Gorgeous. Unbelievable. Well, Bill, I'm going to. Send that one back on his way. You and are I have, un I have thoroughly. <laughs> <laughs> You're I have, unbelievable, buddy. I have thoroughly enjoyed today. Hey, not anymore than I have. You got to come back with me and do one, though. I'm definitely coming back. Okay. I'm going to do one for my series, too. That sounds good. Bill Dance Saltwater with Blair Wiggins. How's that? Thank you, buddy. <laughs> hey, we enjoy hey, it. Hey, so until fun. next week, don't forget about the website, addictedfishing.com. Don't forget to look up Bill Dance's show either. Bill Dance Saltwater. Field and salt water. Awesome. I tell you what, you, you floored me today when you said that to get into salt water, the reason you did it. You are the that guy show. that inspired it. I promise you, you were. Awesome. We'll see y'all next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for oh outtakes and bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Do you hear me? He said, They're coming straight to us. I'm gonna go for a release here. I'm telling you, these are some serious tarpon around here. There's just, uh, there's so many tarpon around this place. Let me tell you, it's addictive. <laughs>